social and climate movements all around the world have been campaigning for years to change our society to deal with the climate crisis. The EU also has its plan on how to handle such a transition. The European Green Deal. They also see the climate crisis as a problem. At least we can all agree on that. <laughs> However, the EU sees the transition as an opportunity for economic growth. They refer to this as green growth. And they believe they can achieve this by developing green technologies and a digital economy. And that's what their Green Deal is all about. But that strategy, like any green transition, requires a lot of money. Fucking money, man. To be specific, we need 1 trillion euros over the next 10 years. Wow. Our governments, however, facing reduced income and increasing debt, don't have this money. This missing money is what we call the financing gap. The solution of the European Green Deal is to fill the financing gap with money supplied by private investors and financial institutions. But these private investors aren't just going to be willing to do this out of the goodness of their hearts. They want profit. So in order to attract this private money, the European Green Deal plans to spend a lot of public funds making investments in the transition secure and profitable for private investors. That way, these private investors will want to spend their money on sustainable projects. All of this doesn't sound that bad, right? I mean, money for sustainability projects, environmental transition, solar panels, windmills, and everything else. But the problem is that these projects will only be profitable because of public money. And who will get this enormous bunch of money? How will it be distributed? Will it be a transparent and participatory process? What would happen if big corporations got the funds and then crumbled? Who will pay for the losses then? The risk here is that the profits of already rich and powerful private investors are guaranteed by public money, meaning by all of us. <laughs> And by letting these private investors choose which project to invest in, the European Green Deal will put too much attention on large-scale investment opportunities, which, of course, will become profitable. The problem is that many of the projects that are crucial for a real, green, and just transition are local, community-based, small-scale, and financially not profitable. This is just a privatization of profits and a socialization of losses painted green. Using public money to make green growth profitable isn't only unfair, but it's also inefficient. Our governments should consider a different approach to financing a real green and just transition. This approach entails changing our societies while respecting planetary boundaries, taking into account the voices of citizens, and satisfying the basic human needs of everyone.